Grand Rising family, welcome to your Thursday the 1st daily message. Happy birthday to all the Aquariuses having birthdays today. May you be blessed. May this year be the best year of your life. It will be. It's already written. It's manifested. It, it is done. Um, may you be spoiled today by the universe and by your loved ones. And may today be filled with a lot of blessings, miracles, and magic for you. I don't know if I, I, I don't think I said happy birthday to uh, all the uh, January 31st Aquariuses. I was working on my crown chakra, so I may have missed it, may have forgotten, but I'm saying it today. Happy birthday to January 31st Aquariuses. Um, and happy birthday to, uh, to everyone that has a birthday this weekend as well. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Receive, 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 right? All of the gifts that the divine is showering you with all the blessings, the miracles, the love that you're being showered with. Um, I just finished coming out of root chakra meditation. I have to do it one more time today. And, um, I got, a, I got, I got another reading to do today. I'm trying to get all the readings done because you guys are seeing this on the first and, um, and in a few hours I will be on an airplane. <laughs> it's a divinely guided trip. Uh, when I, when I said yes to the invitation, projector language, projector human design language, when I said yes to the invitation, I heard spirits say, life is meant to be lived, experienced, and enjoyed. Don't worry about anything else. Just say yes. Just receive. Right? It's time. The ocean, the spirit of the ocean is calling you. Speaking of the ocean, I was guided in meditation uh, to use this mermaid, mermaid deck here. And um, because we've been guided to flow, right? To flow, to be in the flow. This is the week of us being in the flow. Um, or the, 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 the season, the time of us being in the flow. So I want to maintain this be really beautiful vi vibration. I'm using Palo Santo. I want to thank everyone for being here. Thank you for liking, for sharing, for subscribing, for donating to the channel, for, for sending decks, for scheduling personal readings with me. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The information to all of that will be in the description box below. Every single time you do interact with the channel and you comment below, you like, or you share, it does help the message to reach more people. It helps our community to grow. That's how we can support each other. So I love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And God bless you. Remember family, use your discernment and your intuition. This is a general reading. So take only what resonates and leave the rest for others. Claim what you like to claim. If you uh, try to make it fit, it, it's going to be confusing to you. That's not your message. Okay, fam. All right. So I'm going to say my prayer. You guys can join me in prayer. Oh, um, join me in prayer. Calling your team. Attune to the frequency. Attune to the energy. Attune to my energy. Ask the questions you want to ask. Or you guys can fast forward this part. All right. Let's go, fam. Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels and spirit guides. May this message reach everyone that needs it. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. It is done. I saw the justice card. Um, and I heard spirit say, when you choose to operate from a place of integrity and make your decisions from truth, live your truth, be your truth, speak your truth, you know, from your authenticity, from your from from a from a place of 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 again, integrity, kindness, love. You don't ever have to worry about being on the wrong side of karma. I heard that. So there could be a message for somebody. Um, all right. 
let's let's get started here. I'm gonna split the deck with the mermaid deck. This is gonna be for Thursday the first. Split the deck. We have discernment. Using your discernment. I know we just finished talking about that. Trust, trust your discernment. See, that's how you know, family, that I am uh grounded or working towards that. Um I, I almost forgot the TikTok camera here. <laughs> I didn't forget this time. We have trust your discernment here. All right, let's go. What else is the main energy? Yeah, trust your inner knowing, your discernment and your inner knowing. You're very uh, intuitive and psychic right now. You can trust yourself. Okay, yeah, very magical as well. There's magic that's unfolding. Sorcerer energy, sorceress energy, manifestation energy. Magic is all around you. So heavy on the crown and third eye energy I'm getting here today. So we saw that yesterday reading and here it is again today. Okay, what else for the collective for the first? Gentleness. Ooh, I love that. What else? Gonna have one more. Contemplation. Mystery. Trust in the mystery of the universe. The magic is unfolding. We have abundance under the deck. So it was gentleness, contemplation, and mystery. A lot of reflecting on the mysteries of the universe. I'm also getting um, a, a transmuting of energy, right? A transmuting of energy from overthinking and fear and worry and uncertainty to, you know, um, it's, like, it's like a huge shift in energy when it comes to how we're looking at the unknown, how we're looking at, you know, how we're feeling, right? Being in, in between worlds or in the void or in the pause or in the, or, you know, uh, in, in the uncertainty, right? Of what's, of what's next. But we saw a lot of energy around magic and inner knowing and discernment and trust, right? So it's like, there. I feel like I'm getting a huge energy here of somebody's faith it's like really in really opening up right to 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 what the universe has for us right opening up to the mysteries of the universe okay um i'm seeing some feminines here but i'm seeing a masculine mermaid so uh i'm get, normally i don't read these cards like that like masculine and feminine and things like that right so i'm, I'm going with it i'm going with what i'm getting um there could be a masculine energy here in the energy. Well, there is, right? Clearly. We all have masculine and feminine within us. But I'm talking about a specific masculine, okay? That is um, a very, very gentle masculine. Maybe a masculine energy with a lot of feminine energy. Maybe a, 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 a male with a lot of feminine energy within, which is nice. Could be a water sign as well. Um very gentle, very gentle in nature of this person here, okay? I'm getting a gentle observation, a gentle reflection, being gentle with oneself, right? As we, you know, move through uh, what, we're, what we're moving through here, okay? Um, so I'm getting here that you, um, I, I heard trust in the great mystery, trust in the magic, right? Spirit has your back. The universe has your back. And I feel a very peaceful, peaceful energy of doing just that, of, of, of staying open to the mysteries of the magic that's unfolding for you. We have abundance at the bottom of the deck. So for, for the abundance to be here, energy, right? Energy. I'm reading energy. Abundance and healing. Wow. Ooh, we, <laughs> that's why we're getting abundance because of all this healing work, making better decisions for ourselves about the future, daydreaming, visualizing, visualizing, and getting into the feeling of it, daydreaming, visualizing, and feeling it, right? Feeling it already happening for you. We have staying in your truth. Look, free spirit energy here, positivity, family, come on. Pos positivity here and free spirit energy being spontaneous taking leaps of faith going on adventures enjoying your life right and staying in your truth 
which I talked about the justice card, honoring your truth, your in your authenticity, what's true to you, your values, your integrity and your soul, what what is true to your what is your heart truly desires, right? The standing strong in that. And it's your feelings and your emotions is guiding you towards that, towards your truth. Okay, so heavy on the manifestation here on, on somebody got it. Somebody, somebody learned how to work with energy, how to manipulate energy or how to transform energy, how to transmute energy here. They get it. They get that it's all in the feeling, right? The daydreaming energy here about the future, feeling it and feeling and, and then allowing, allowing here, right? For the mystery to unfold, making healthy decisions here. Uh, for your for your future and for your life it's like you're in motion it's in motion it, it it's it, the it's the progress of it right trusting the process it's a process and making progress one day at a time one step at a time being patient being committed right to 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 the journey here okay so we have this abundance energy here and healing under the deck i'm loving it I'm loving this energy and I wanted to since we're using the mermaid deck and we're in the flow very much so I'm getting here we'll see how everything's gonna come together I want to show you guys I got this gift from my son the sea turtle the beautiful right as a reminder also lots of, it's the sea turtle has such a beautiful spiritual message but it, it kind of also reminds me of slow and steady, right? Slow and steady wins the race, you know, because that, that comes out a lot for me to, to, to just keep going, to not focus on the time, uh, not focus on, you know, needing, feeling like you need your ego telling you that you need to be a certain, certain place in your life. You're exactly right on time where you need to be uh, according to your soul's journey and your soul's path and the time frame of that. All right, let's see what else for the first. We have the chariot here, cancer energy. So heavy on the water, right? Heavy on the water, right? Um, taking control of the energy, right? Balancing out, uh, this is going, you know, experiencing a victory and a triumph, staying focused. And we did say, see that at the, at the bottom of the, of the mermaid's deck here. Right, that we're staying focused. Uh, we're making uh, right this, the, the best decisions for us, planning ahead, right? Daydreaming about it, writing it down, visualizing it, okay? So let's see how this uh, gentleness learn. So I posted this the other day to learn to be tough AF when somebody tries to mess with your gentleness. I do feel like. Um, And also, uh, with the contemplation here and the gentleness, I just heard spirits say to, you know, be gentle with yourself. Watch how you're speaking to yourself, about yourself, about your, your loved ones, about your life, about your journey. You know, uh, sometimes, I, even I still do, even I still catch myself saying, oh no, I, cancel, clear, and release that. Cancel, clear, and delete. I don't want to manifest that for myself, you know? So... And give yourself grace. Welcome, true love angel gang. We have the lovers here, right? So, you know, this is us coming into union within us, the masculine and feminine within us. And so that we can merge in the 3D with our divine counterpart, making, you know, the best choices in love for ourselves. From, a, from our higher self. Wow, I just now saw uh, when, I, when the deck flipped, the two of cups. Okay, what's the energy for the first? Thursday the first. We have, oh my God. I can't make this stuff up, family. Didn't I say when I was praying, that was the first thing I said. I saw the justice card. <laughs> Spirit come through. <laughs> I'm here for the magic family. Note your comments below. I'm here for the magic. <laughs> I heard spirits say, I heard spirits say, if you continue to choose to operate from truth here, from your truth, from honesty, from integrity, you never have to worry about being on the wrong side of karma, right? 
uh, that you don't even have to have that fear of, of making sure, you know. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, yeah, right here. Two, two of, of pentacles, right? This is us making sure we're prioritizing. We're making the best decisions. We're staying balanced, okay? This is our responsibility. We're the only ones that's in charge or responsible for our own energy. No one else is, right? So let's see what else here. So we're making a decision. We're contemplating something here, okay? Regarding a big dis life decision. This could be you or somebody in your energy. We're always, you know, life is a series of different little choices and decisions that we make. And I trust and have faith that we're in a good space right now. And again, with this abundance energy here, it's energy. You are in this beautiful energy of abundance. This is the energy. We're in the energy of abundance right now. It's at the bottom of the deck. So, this is talking about, look, she has a treasure chest full of jewelry, this mermaid. So, we're talking about being open to receiving. Why being open to receiving? Because you got good karma coming to you. Good karma coming your way. Okay? You got, um, the universe is trying to balance things out for you. So if you struggle to receive, uh, work on your feminine energy, sacral chakra, maybe do receiving affirmations, right? Or worthiness affirmations, which I have already linked on the community board. We have here Ace of Wands. So passion is being ignited. There's a creative spark, a call to action. Okay, so we have uh, the Six of Cups. And under mystery here, we have the Tower. Ooh! <laughs> the the tower will kaboom i have to always say well kaboom um and under contemplation here we have uh the six of cups so i guess we could be contemplating the past very much so contemplating having nostalgia right um sitting with these whatever's coming up for us here from the past past life stuff could be coming up it could be childhood memories coming up or could just or this could just be this uh past life soulmate that you have nostalgia with upright is, is you know beautiful memories loving memories you know uh reflecting here on the past right could be even be daydreamy energy here but i am or somebody here could be contemplating returning Somebody from your past could be contemplating returning. And I do feel like, okay, thank you, Spirit. I do feel that with this justice card here, somebody is getting ready to show up in their truth. I do feel that you're going to see a different side to somebody, a softer side, their gentle side. Okay. Uh, that's what's looking like. Um, after a period here. Yeah. Wow. Look at this beautiful congrats wow come through emperor look at this beautiful energy for the emperor divine masculine energy here of spending a lot of time going within contemplating right analyzing paying attention to the details being the observer seeking answers doing the soul searching the introspection dark night energy doing some shadow work right look at this maturity look at this growth you, I don't know how long it's been that you guys have been in separation. Sorry, I got to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know how long it's been since you guys have been, this person has been retreating, retreated from you in hermit energy, you know, to do their work, to do their inner work, uh, to find themselves here. But it feels like feels like it's been a little while with the four of swords this is going you know meditation and healing this person had a lot of a lot of wounds okay a lot of childhood wounds a lot of inner child wounds you know that 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 kept them um repeating a cycle saturn this is saturn family so kept them repeating a cycle over and over and over again and now with this them taking this pause with them going within with them they could have been they could have been seeking uh a, a sage or you know or a shaman or a spiritual healer or a teacher right got to 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 for counsel right some kind of healer or something like that or that's what this person is becoming as they are healing themselves when we heal ourselves we become a healer 
and then we pass the torch we 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 the our a blueprint our roadmap and we help others right with our with our own healing that we've done on ourselves we uh healers tend to show others the way how to heal themselves at the end of the day it's their responsibility to heal we can't heal anyone it's their job to heal themselves we just show them how so we awaken the healer within them right so yeah this person has been doing the work family looks like and they're closing out you know um this is somebody here that has been very wounded so we have the tower for the for this mystery so something is coming in that's going to be a surprise it's a mystery right but i do feel i let's let's see what this is let's see what this is so you're about to be surprised embrace the great mystery uh clarify justice we have death scorpio energy here libra energy scorpio three times family talking about you know scorpio rules uh transformation and rebirth the phoenix rising right transformation death rebirth spiritual spiritual transformation the crumbling right that's the beginning stages and uh and here it is so this is a huge change a huge shift a huge transformation this love with the six of cups is pure it's innocent it's deep and it's unconditional and it's everlasting you've had many lifetimes together okay so we have death and we have the lovers here again at the bottom of the deck so the catalyst to all of this it's interesting because this came out uh last night and it's taking me back to it transformation change which is this death this tower your relationship with one another is about to deepen yeah it was this connection oh wow okay so this is deep your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things loves con love conquers and transforms all things yes it does okay so it was this connection wow look at oh my gosh you guys are a powerful bunch powerful bunch here another scorpio energy we have gemini and aquarius majors here this connection which we've been talking about and we've been saying this for a while was the catalyst it brought people here you and this person back to love okay it was a huge catalyst it cracked you open your heart area so you can embark on this deep healing journey here this awakening journey we have two awakening cards here so now we have scorpio one two three four times heavy on the pluto heavy on that right heavy on the the death rebirth transformation energy here metamorphosis energy which is also scorpio energy heavy on that so this uh deep sacred spiritual connection was a catalyst to you healing everything past life stuff inner child stuff breaking free from karma just two karmic cards here justice as well as judgment and i like to see aquarius as a karmic card as well because it ruled by saturn so uh, uh so we have this this love was always meant to bring to to this love you were always meant to experience the tower with this connection to crumble down the old identity to push you deeper into your we have two awakening cards here so you know uh if it like like i like i like i have told you guys this in the past if it wasn't for true love if it wasn't for the love that I experienced, right? The spiritual connection that I experienced, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for that. For, for, the, for the deep awakening, spiritual awakening, dark night energy, you know, uh, that, that, that aligned me with my destined path, my soul's, my, 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 my true north to my purpose 
which is also the, the star card. But we couldn't align with this unless we had an open heart. So when we were cracked open with these, with, with the grief, with the pain, with the loss, with the so sorrow, when we were cracked open, we went in and we actually healed, did the healing work. We didn't bypass it. We didn't escape, run, avoid, distract, numb. No, we went in. I don't even think that some of us was even able to do that because the, the pain was so intense. It's like you come into union with your divine counterpart and then it's ripped from you by the divine because of the, the friction, the, the magnets repelling each other, the triggers, you know, the intensity of it. And two people just really not being quite ready to be in divine union because there was still a lot of ego, a lot of trauma, a lot of pain that was still lingering in the past. And you know, we can't have any of that, right? Uh, ego and, and all of that when it comes to divine sacred love. So the divine's like, okay. Now it's time to do the healing work on your own. And, uh, and that's what this is. So it feels like that that's what happened. And, 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 and it's a really great, beautiful gift and a blessing because it's like, if you look at it like that, right? You look at it like it's not every day and not everyone gets to experience this kind of connection, this kind of love, this kind of beautiful sacred sacred divine that that the, that god the angels brought together so that you can heal so that you can heal ascend evolve okay so it is really it truly is a gift somebody here could be going through a divorce could be going through an ending a karmic ending in their life somebody here is transforming their into like i said this person's coming back you're about to experience somebody here in different energy. They're coming. You're going to see a side of them you've never seen before. They're coming back gentle. Gentle with be, being gentle with your heart. Being gentle with, 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 with you, with your love. Because they've gone through a huge, massive transformation. Some of them could receive some karma. That led to this transformation. That led to this ending. That woke them up. Right? Made them realize. And recognize. This is what they're contemplating. This is what they're thinking about. Is this connection? Made them realize. That this connection is profound. And the importance of this connection. Right? Because of the changes that started to take place in their lives. The second they met you. And, and vice versa. Please feel free to reverse the roles. Uh, could I have one more on death? We have the nine of swords. It's not, it, and no one said that this was going to be easy. No one said, and, 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 and it isn't. And everyone that has been through the dark night of the soul, a spiritual awakening, right? The healing journey. Uh, we'll sit here and tell you it was, it was a smooth ride. It was peaches and cream. No, that's not what the spiritual awakening, the spiritual journey is. We're, we're unlearning to, to, what is it? We're learning to unlearn to relearn. That is a, quite the process. Today I heard spirits say that I'm ready. After spending so long, right? Clearing trauma, clearing trauma from our bodies. This anxiety here. Right next to the death card here. I feel like that's what's... You know, it's, it's scary when you go through the end. When you go through an ending. When you go through karma. Right? But I do feel... Wow. Look, wow. Holy Moses. Look at this beautiful energy here. This we're, So, okay. The energy of abundance and love. We're manifesting really strongly right now. From, from, from a space of forgiveness. Passion unconditional love okay compassion nurturing all of that we're give we're, we're we we have this uh for the feminine energy here there's this beautiful uh, kundalini awakening sacral chakra activation creative blocks being removed we have creativity 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 and i feel like for a lot of you guys the inspiration here with the ace of wands is this connection 
is this love right the, your muse each other's muses okay and um and it's like you're unlocking so many gifts psychic abilities intuition okay it's like spirit said we don't have any planets in retrograde until april the time is now to take action on these ideas on your purpose right but it does feel like passion is, igni is it being ignited energetically between both of you with this telepathy because you finally are no longer in resistance energy you're allowing you're open you're allowing your 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 what is it uh, uh allow what's that passion energy allow you're allowing your heart and soul to sing with joy you're feeling the fire in your belly and the love in your heart and you're nurturing it this beautiful uh, love story this beautiful connection was a huge part of your growth it's like you're blooming and blossoming being cracked open you're blooming and blossoming beautifully but this person is with this gentleness is becoming humble it's softening okay give me one on this nine of swords spirit the hanged man so the reason why trust the pauses the delays and the detours it's like we can't come into union until somebody's in is, is in better energy right uh is, is no longer feeling this uh depression this shame this guilt this regret it's like this it's like some whoever's in the nine of swords here regarding the ending of this cycle i feel like they're doing their best to quiet their mind and going into meditation that's the guidance to retreat to retreat to rest here it's the emperor it's the masculine energy it's the masculine energy i know that also because masculine energy is the energy of thinking and overthinking and controlling and overanalyzing to a point of exhaustion emotional exhaustion to a point of of paralysis analysis so they they are going through an awakening and 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 you know it's it's scary there's some fears here that's coming up for this person but with the hanged man here it's saying that this person here needs to experience a uh I, okay i also heard that this person is having anxiety they're a little stressed out because it's it, it really is a sacrifice with the hangs man being away from you when they can't stop thinking about you and missing you and yearning their soul is yearning for you right um i feel like a lot of you guys have already uh, are, are seeing your entire experience your entire situation with this person already from a different perspective how everything happens exactly how it's meant to to align you and take you to where you're meant to be in your life destined path and all of that right for the soul lessons for the karmic lessons and for growth for expansion and and all of that right for the raising of the consciousness and so on we can go on and on and on and on and on as to why everything went down the way that it did but it went down the way that it did for a reason and and whatever is going on in this person's mind whatever they're stuck on that they keep replaying over and over again whether it's too much thinking about the past or too much thinking about the future or vacillating back and forth feeling ungrounded in their energy this is neptune energy pisces another major Th this card is about changing your perspective changing your mind seeing it another point of view looking at looking at uh, uh at everything in all angles all all the different uh uh ways right this is somebody here that has a lot of fear over the mystery over the uncertainty over what's next okay and um and a perspective shift is needed here for somebody to officially close this out tell me about this uh give me one more on this hanged man and the nine of swords here please give me one more on this hanged man but healing is taking place and that's the reason for the pause i feel like whenever we get into the nine of swords energy it's like uh uh replaying the events again right over and over again <clears throat> intrusive thoughts as well 
This is somebody here that still has some trauma in their body. <clears throat> you know, that still needs to let go, still needs to forgive. Balance is being restored. This is somebody here that's struggling with, with faith. Right? Yes, they're going through an awakening here. And, and these swords is trying to, believe it or not, although these swords can be, you know, these intrusive thoughts, right? It's because this person is in resistance energy is why these thoughts are ongoing. They're not following their intuition. They're letting their fear hold them back from their destined path. Can I have one more from that for the hanged man? Two more. Okay, we got two more. Yeah, see, this is emotional exhaustion about this person has the direction. They know exactly, they know exactly what they want to do, the way forward, what the plan is, right? But it's like this this is somebody here that that has a lot of control as well. I feel like this person is clearing up some kind of ancestral karma with justice here and the death card, okay? I feel like th that's what this is. But the good news is, is that this difficult cycle that this person is in is coming to an end. We saw that in yesterday's reading, the end of a tough cycle for the emperor, right? It's coming to an end here. And, and soon enough, soon enough, we just got to keep sending them love, light, healing, energy, positivity, right? To help because you're connected to this person, six of cups. So you sending them your angels. The angels will help this person with epiphanies, breakthroughs. Uh, we'll send them help. The angels will um, take their burden from them, alleviate them. Because that right here, the chariot, remember we split the deck. We started with this card. The chariot is a card of overcoming obstacles, uh, transcending the obstacles, staying focused. This is a card of determination and willpower, taking the reins, taking control and moving forward. Okay, and um, and that's what this person, it, this person is at, is at the last leg of the race. They're at the last push. They're at the last, you know, little bit here that they're releasing so that they can. But the good news is that this person is focused on this with the chariot here, focused on, on moving forward. I do feel that this person may have some karmic energy around them that's not making it easy. But this person is learning strength, endurance, resilience, perseverance, spiritual strength at that with this hanged man here and the chariot card, the death card, the justice card. This could be you or somebody in your net. Can I have one for death? It's like this person wants a new beginning. They're going through an ending in their life. Could be something legal. They're going through an ending in their life. I just see the moon here. Fears, right? They're going through an ending in their life. So a new beginning can start. Uh, can you have one on death? Yeah, wow. So this person, look, 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 look at the new beginning. Look at the key here. The key. The pentacle coming from God saying, I have a pentacle for you to rebuild your foundation. The cracks of your foundation. Thank you, spirit. I'm going to use that deck. Uh, there's a card that just came to me from another deck that I would like to read in the end. So, yeah. Yeah. We have the nine of wands. So the nine of the wounded warrior, this person here is coming back a different person. They have been going through it. They're, again, with the learning, the perseverance, the not giving up, the hanging in there, right? We saw that yesterday. Spirit said, going through some challenges here, divine masculine, hang, don't give up. Don't give up. The light is within you. And once this person proves to the universe, their spirit guides, ancestors, angels, that, you know, that they are ready to close out the karma by making better decisions, 
right? But how they handle this situation here, how they handle this situation here with gentleness, with grace, with kindness, with love, with compassion, with purity, is it's what's going to determine this for them. It's what's going to bring this in for them. The universe is saying, we're willing to give you a second chance. Judgment. We saw judgment. We're willing to give you a new life. But first, we got to let go. We got to choose to do the right thing. Justice. The honorable thing. Then you're going to be released from this. And that's what the chariot is. The chariot is a victory. The victor is saying this person will choose to do the right thing. This person will handle this better from a place of integrity. Whatever they're dealing with in their own, it's going to be different for every single one of them. Whatever they're dealing with in their life, that's teaching them a lesson of strength, of endurance, of faith even. This person with the chariot here, it's like this person here is being forced to sit down. It's being forced to go into a pause. It's being forced to have patience. It's being forced to lay down. It's being forced to contemplate. There's a lot of contemplation. I know that they're going to choose to do the right thing. Because of the chariot. The ace of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. And all that they have learned from, from, from their karma of the past. Of not choosing to do the right thing. Right? Not operating from a place of integrity. So, this person got handed, you know, down some karma. As we all have. So, okay. Nice. So, gentleness. Being very gentle. So, they're, they're changing their tune. They're changing their way. Their ways. Can I have the, 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 the six? So things, the, it's like surrender to the universe. Things are going to balance out. The universe is going to bring into balance everything. It's like, let the universe do the dirty work. Release it. Release it with forgiveness. And then, and then the balance will be restored. I was telling my daughter that today. Everything always balances out. Everything always balances out. If you look back and you really contemplate and reflect on the past, even when it comes to, to, and when it comes to anything and everything, money, love, right? Who does what for who? Everything always balances out. Everything always comes back into balance. Somewhere for somehow or one way or another, it will balance out. And that was a huge uh, message today that I, again, this justice card has just been in the energy today. I had talked about it before I pulled cards and then the justice card came out. Balance, 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 doing the right thing. That leads to stability, right? That leads to abundance. The universe wants to give to us. It's our birthright. Tell me more about this contemplation spirit with the six of cups here. Clarify the six of cups. But there, there's a reason for... I'm going back to this. My goodness, spirit. <laughs> I'm trying to move on. Uh, there's a reason for this pause. This person is going through a major clearing. A major release of their old... It's like they're making major changes in, to, in their life. It's like what I heard it when I was at the gym. I had a dream last night. In my dream, I was shopping for a wedding dress. <laughs> yeah, family. And uh, my best friend was there. And this morning, I was at the gym. And I was listening to music, Pandora. And the wifey song came on. And I heard spirits say that I'm ready. You know, I did this work. I spent years, which you guys know. You guys have been with me for years. You guys have been on the journey with me. Uh, growing together. Learning together. Ascending together, right? Uh... So you guys, some, a lot of you guys has been here with me for a long time, have reached out to me personally and said, I've watched you grow so much. I've, I've been with you since you started four years ago. You know, I see so much t ascension, so much change, so much healing, so much, you know, all of that. Right. So it's like, so this person is catching up. Okay. So it's like, so I saw, so, so spirit said, you've done you've been you've been preparing 
for your life partner, for a healthy relationship, for healthy love, for true love, for unconditional love. You've been doing this work. You've been preparing for union, for, for, for healthy life, healthy relationships, right? Healthy connections, peace, bliss, happiness, prosperity, wealth, abundance, and true love. You've been preparing for all of it. All this time by clearing the trauma from your body. You know, one of the ways is by clearing the, by doing the healing work, healing here and clearing the trauma from your body, right? So you can have a beautiful, healthy, happy life, you know, with peace and all of that. Without attachments, addictions, codependencies, trauma responses, being defensive, being, having resentment, you know, uh, with your heart open, with divine love in your heart. That takes a while, right? So. It's like, that's where you are. If that's where you are, that's where your vibration is. That's what I've been seeing in the energy, right? So the, the person, your true love here, it's important that they match your vibration for it to work, right? So it's like, that's what's going on here in their energy. They're, they're going through their karmic lessons. They're going through their healings. They're going through their gentle observation of their of themselves, of their life. They're self-evaluating uh, of themselves in their life. They're going through their process. They're going through the same types of process you went, you went through probably differently. Yeah, it would help if this person would release resistance. It would help if this person to know whether or not this person is 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 doing the actual work. It would it would definitely be a lot smoother, a lot easier, and even a lot faster. If they were right, instead of allowing the you, instead of you know, keep receiving lightning bolts, boom, 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 over and over and over and over again until this person is knocked down cold, you know, and then having to rise from the ashes, right? Whatever it takes for this person to catch up, to align with your frequency, you know, is is, is what they're going through here, and they're growing up becoming the emperor aligning uh, you know ascending into their divinity in however way that is for them that's showing up for them so it's like they can it won't work they can't come in their old energy they can't it won't work if they're still childish immature playing games manipulating and all of their you know uh trauma responses and toxic ways of being however way you remember them to be that caused the separation to begin with where you are now it won't work it's not even attractive to you anymore so you're you're in your worth that's why and that's somebody acting like that or treating you less than it's not it's it's not something that they, they that's attractive to you, that you're into even anymore Somebody that isn't emotionally available, that isn't gentle with your heart. So that's what the universe is doing. It's trying to bring in your justice. It's trying to bring in the balance. It's trying to get you, you know, to your manifestation here, to the culmination. Six of Cups, clarify that. Ten of Cups, wow. Ten of Cups, family. So that's exactly what this contemplation, this memory is, this, this nostalgia. I'm, I'm getting a couple things. I'm getting that this person here is reminiscing on the times. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm getting a lot. Okay, spirit. I'm getting that this person here with the contemplation is learning from whatever they went through, whatever they experienced, what the Ten of Cups really is, what unconditional love is what emotional fulfillment is based on their memories of them already having it already feeling it with you in the past it's like this it's this energy of i had it all i was on top of the world i was happy i was confident i was healthy they're even contemplating on the on the times where you looked up to them where you had them on a pedestal where you treated them like kings or queens and royalties and, and, and showered them with so much abundance of love and presence and gifts and showed them that they were worth loving and showed them that, you know, uh, how much you love them. 
this person, if this person ran off and, and, and started to play house with somebody else, it was simply because they assumed that that's not something you wanted. Assumed. For some of you guys, not all of you guys. A lot of assuming back then, right? A lot of assuming. Less communication and asking and all assuming. You know, and, uh, and you really get nowhere when you jump to conclusions, when you assume, you know. Um, but again, it's like this connection is so fulfilling. Again, it, this is where unconditional love is. And that's what this contemplation is about. This contemplation is that reminiscing of when I had it all. How I felt in this connection. How at home this person feels. Sometimes a, a home, you know, no place like home or that at home feeling is a person, not really a place, right? How cozy, how comfortable, how nurturing, how accepting, how patient, how enduring, how happy, how emotionally fulfilled they were, how pure the love was, how pure the love is. And that's the contemplation, right? Is that this connection is a success this connection this soulmate here is peaceful it's peaceful it's balanced it's harmonious it's patient this love is patient this love is kind and uh and and and, and patience is power family and patience healing here is a healing connection and the healing here right is bringing you guys into a victory beautiful Tell me more about this ton of cups. Yeah. So it's requiring a lot of patience. A lot of pain. It does require patience, right? And I do feel like this person is contemplating. And it's requiring courage as well. And strength to get us to where we are. A lot of strength. And a lot of compassion. And a lot of patience. What this person is contemplating is... Bringing this back to life. Working on it. Putting the time, the energy, and the effort. In, the, in this person's contemplation, in their reminiscing, they're going over and over and over again all of the details of how it was. Of how you made them feel. How they felt. How you feel. How you guys were together. What you guys did together. All of the things, right? How you handled conflict. And, uh, and there is now they want to, they're contemplating in the process of making a decision feels like with this justice and contemplating. It's like, they know there's this inner knowing. We saw that at the bottom of the deck a bunch of times. There's this inner knowing this trust. There's a lot of daydreaming and look, decision is being made about the future. There's a lot of daydreaming here about these feelings. Ton of cups, cups is water is feelings about these feelings here. They are awakened to the truth of how free they felt in this connection, right? And how positive this connection, you know, uh, was a lot of light, a lot of peace, a lot of positivity, right? In their life. Okay. There is a recognition. They're thinking about taking the, taking the risk, take, taking a, I wouldn't say a risk cause it wouldn't be a risk, right? If it's 10 of cups of taking the chance. Taking the chance, it fears how they normally move, you know. There's a recognition here. It's like they do know how much abundance and happiness that you brought into their life, that you bring into their life. Okay? There so the contemplation here is about where to start. How we're gonna make this person wants to invest time, energy, and effort, but how this is an overthinker, clearly. How are we going to go about this? This is not somebody that just, uh, you know, uh, is comfortable with the uncertainty, with the mystery, with the unknown. Clearly, nine of swords, right? They overthink everything. But it looks to me like, tell me about this eight of pentacles. Like that's what, the, that's, that's the plan. That's the plan here. They're making a plan. I heard, uh, I, I'm, I'm clearing the way for us. Eight of Pentacles. 
That's their wish. That's their wish. That's their secret wish. Is That's what they're daydreaming about here. Right? In this Neptune energy. That's their wish. Is to work on this. Is to rebuild the tower. Building the trust up one pentacle at a time. It looks to me like they're going to come out of contemplation. Okay? Nine of the pentacles. I feel also that they're working on becoming emotionally fulfilled and independent on their own first. But yeah, all of this here, all these cups connected to this past life soulmate, connected to the six of cups, connected to you. Tell me here, what is... Uh, so you are getting a wish. They are getting their wish. It's just it's just a recalibration going on. There is a uh, you know an adjustment that's being made to this person's energy, but it looks to me like we're very close with the ten of wands to move movement forward here. Can I have one on the tower? We have the emperor that wanted to come out up upright and then he hit the table and fell reverse. So I think that that's the energy. The energy is this person is topsy turvy with this tower, this emperor, right? This emperor is in the process of taking control because he 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 was coming out upright, then he hit the table and turned reverse. So this emperor was in, is in the process of taking control of their life. Aries energy here, okay? They're in the process. They're in this contemplation energy, looking right at the cup. In, in meditation, contemplation, right? Seeing the cup, seeing the opportunity, the second chance that they missed in the past being returned. It's like this person has not been able to feel satisfied, fulfilled, and happy with any of their options. No one has made them feel 10 of cups, 9 of cups, 6 of cups. No one worth investing time, energy, and effort in. This person is seeing the truth. Looking right at the divine cup, not grabbing it, not grabbing it, not grabbing it because perhaps they weren't, f they felt topsy turvy. They felt, you know, not quite upright yet. Give me one on this emperor. So masculine energy here of control, structure, structure. Interesting that the, that the, that the card of structure came out clarifying the crumbling. Their whole entire realm, their whole entire empire is crumbling down. Everything that their superficiality, everything that they thought they held value to that was important to them. And the only reason why it came crumbling down is because this person didn't operate from integrity, moral, morals, values, truth, authenticity. They started to build this foundation uh, of theirs uh, from a faulty foundation on sand. Cracked. It was cracked. Because it wasn't based on truth. They, they weren't going in the right direction. That's destined and fated for them in their life. So now. To give me one on this emperor in the tower. So it's like. I'm getting at this. I'm getting this emperor. You know Aries energy here. Aries rules the crown. And as you can see. Well, in this deck, it's not the top. The, normally, in the other decks, it's the top of the tower busting wide open, which is the crown, right? And uh, give me one on this emperor. Which means I feel like this person, this emperor is going through a crown chakra activation as we speak. <laughs> a simple fix, right? Was to just move that thing out of the way. Uh, the emperor with the tower here. So there is a huge recognition. They know. They see the cup. They feel it. They have awakened to it. They have awakened to the connection. They're recognizing it. There is a merging also in the 5D. Now that this emperor has awakened. Aries energy. Crown chakra energy. While this emperor has awakened. And matured. Now it's coming together. The merging, the telepathy. Now they're seeing the signs and synchronicities. Now, okay? Now they are feeling your energy, allowing themselves to feel it. They understand why they're feeling it. They could be seeing angel numbers. It's becoming very obvious for this person. 
like I said in yesterday's reading, thinking they see you out in the world. They're feeling your energy. They're, they're understanding the value and the importance of this connection. And they're also no longer pushing it away and denying the love that they feel. The love is mutual. It's reciprocal. Okay? So they know that they have to make these changes for this to work. It does still feel like a fresh start and a fresh slate. Yeah, see? This person has been holding back and running. We're talking about a runner. They've been guarded. But they are receiving this huge kundalini, this huge sacral activation. Passions being ignited. The more they sit in this meditation, this contemplation that they're in, the more they are awakening to the truth based on what they feel, the fire in their belly. It's like they're feeling inspired. Look, so uh, uh, Leo energy, heart chakra energy here. They have a better understanding. Can I have one on this two of cups? They have a better understanding. And it took this though, unfortunately, right? It took this and this for this person to wake up to the connection. It took them doing this to you and then them receiving it in return from a karmic situation. Them receiving just the karma, right? For them to see things clearly. Uh-huh. And now we have an opportunity here to heal, healing, and, and, and to go to calmer waters and to transition and leave all of this behind. The, the good thing about the Ten of Swords is that the sun is coming out. This is never going to happen again. It's the end of this. It's the last nail in the coffin. This person here went through a rock bottom situation where they have been rising from the ashes as the phoenix. They fully get it. And now we're moving. We're transitioning. I don't see any cards of action for, for, fr for Friday the 1st other than the chariot. Okay. Look at where they're moving towards. Where the love is. Where the light is. Where the forgiveness, compassion, understanding, kindness, generosity. Where, where the nurturing is. Moving towards the love that they deserve. All right. What is the message here for Friday for a beautiful collective? What's the message for Friday? The first. Okay, so that's what this person was. That's what this person was, asleep. Dear you, human beings spend a huge percentage of life asleep. Not just in bed, but the kind where you forget you are a spiritual, immortal being taking on a temporary human form. It's not your fault. Everyone suffers from spiritual amnesia once in a while. As you develop an identity... And ego, you begin to see through the eyes of your of a small self and have less connection to your soul self. That's where that's where this person here, you know, was right. And you, once upon a time, you may not recognize this is going on, but you sure can feel it. We're here to remind you to look through your soul's eyes and see that magic. We saw the magic card. That magic is everywhere infinite potential lies in spirit who is teaming with you to fulfill the contract you made to contribute to the evolution of the whole world wake up and remember that all the help you need is orchestrated in the invisible realms the mystery somebody is going through that wake up call right now your mind in alignment with divine intelligence is unstoppable the world is yours to co-create you are so loved and we're all behind you. I kind of want to get uh, some messages from this emperor real quick. Spirit. What does this emperor want to say? 
to the divine, to their divine counterpart. What does this emperor want to say? What does the emperor... I am going to pull from the shaman deck th today. What does the emperor want to say? Yeah, see? I told you. I can't make this stuff up. I'm trying... Okay. Didn't I say that... When, when, when I pulled this with the emperor card... Didn't I say that this is what this person was waking up to? I feel your energy around me. And I wonder if you're thinking of me too. Now they can't escape it. They can't. They feel you everywhere. They're seeing the signs and synchronicities. They can't stop feeling you. There's a merging. Because this emperor has been waking up. To the connection. Okay. So. Uh, I feel your energy around me. We have. Um, we have a union energy here. You could be dealing with a biracial uh, couple here. I feel the chemistry between us. We need to trust that the energy we share will bring us back together again. So yes, the magnetic pull, the magnetic attraction, right? We need to trust that the, that the, that the energy that we share, the, another union card. You are my true love, my heart, and my soul. We need to trust that, the, that, this, that this connection, that the energy that we share, that's spiritual, will bring us back together again. In time. In perfect divine order. So they're feeling your energy. So make sure that you're sending them love. Which it looks like you are. There's two people that have deep love for each other. I'm going to pull guidance for you. When it comes to this connection. At the bottom of the deck here we have. Oh wow. Look at that family. We have two timing cards. Two timing cards. Timing and intention. I'm trying to understand how my thoughts create my reality. I need to stay positive. Are you? Both of you guys need to work on, on staying positive when it comes to this. And then we have, please don't give up on me. I'm trying to change, but it takes time. Yeah, it's clear. It's clear that this person is really trying. Right here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> they're trying to f figure it out as they go along. Okay. I don't know if they're, uh, you know, following their intuition and doing the actual work, uh, seeking counsel, reading books, podcasts, taking classes, meditating. I don't know. We did see the four swords, the tempers, and the hermit. So in their own way, in whatever guidance that they're getting from their own divine, you know, that they're waking up here, whatever guidance that they're getting from their own team, they are trying. They are trying. In, in their own way. So unconditional love says. Love is patient. And love is kind. Meanwhile. You're doing you. Living your life. Right? Living. Yeah. Manifesting in your life. So look at this. Exactly. As I said that. Creating positive change in your life. You're on the right side of karma. Okay. Okay. Uh, a lot of changes, good luck, good fortune coming your way. A lot of bu abundance. You're on the money tree, focusing on yourself. Sp you know, you're manifesting from this open-hearted space. Like you're just enjoying your life, right? Living your life, being in the moment, doing your thing, believing, trusting, having faith, listening to your inner, knowing your intuition, taking action in your life, spreading your gifts, share, sharing your gifts, sharing your love, sharing your happiness, sharing your abundance out with the world. And it's really, 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 and you're doing it from a pure place of, of love and happiness and, and, and peace. Okay. And you're manifesting this new beginning in love for you. However way that's going to show up, you're getting a new beginning in love. You're getting an ace of cups headed your way because you're in this energy. So keep going. The wheel, You're on the wheel of uh, destiny. You're on the right path. You're on the wheel of karma, the wheel of fate. Beautiful energy here, family, that you're in. And that's what's creating this beautiful change in your life. Right? It's the letting go energy, the flow, the allowing, the acceptance, the surrender. Okay? It's very clear. That you're over here doing you, 
and this person is is it really is trying right to move to move towards you to move forward to release this you can help by by sending them your love your light, your healing energy, your angels, Archangel Raphael, send it to your masculine, Archangel Michael, Archangel Shamuel, to help this person. I have those meditations on the community board. Um, a meditation for, um, for sending them protection as well as healing energy. You might have to scroll a bit for it because I posted it a little while ago. All right, Spirit, what is uh, the guidance here for the beautiful collective, for this beautiful true love divine love embrace through each other you find the missing pieces you know what's interesting wow okay twin flame your passion ignites family every time this card comes every time <laughs> this is a true love reading <laughs> and we have a message for you i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light it is your love it is your love that's healing this king, this emperor, that is guiding this emperor uh, out of this darkness, okay? It is your love. It is your love guiding the emperor. I'm going to write this down. The emperor out of darkness. Your love fills me with light. You heard it from the horse's mouth. Forgiveness. We've been working on this. That has been the work that we've been doing. Opening our hearts, releasing the bitterness, the resentment, the anger. You know, um, with the forgiveness affirmations and the letting go affirmations, right? Sometimes we don't understand how why things happen. But there's always a divine, uh, a higher purpose behind, you know, um, the, the, the events, right? That unfolds in our life. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life. That's this person. I feel like whoever is the feminine energy here has really, really, really released a lot. For you to be in this beautiful energy of manifesting abundance and love and good fortune and luck and expansion in your life and all these beautiful changes, you there's no way you can be in this energy and still harbor a lot of uh, pain or resentment, anger, you know, all of that, right? So I do feel like this message here uh, can be, you know, about this, this it could, could be this person. Because look, there's a lot of thinking about the past here. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events. For life is too precious to waste. This person has wasted a lot of time. That came to me in meditation today. A lot of time was wasted. A lot. Of, it's been a lot of, uh, you know, uh, a lot of delays. A lot of procrastination. It's been, you know, that, right? You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. And then we have trust jumped as well. Transformation occurs through acceptance. This person is going through a huge transformation. So are you. Uh, but I feel like you guys are on different levels when it comes to your transformation. Once you accept the current situation exactly how it is, I accept what is. I accept what was. I accept what is. And I accept what will be. It will automatically transform. Trust. A message of trust. Have faith. And trust that everything is unfolding for you exactly how it should in divine perfect order and divine perfect timing. For some of the masculines here, some of them are close to this completion. Others of them are just starting and they need time. Okay? So uh, that's what I heard Spirit say. Let me get a, a mystical shaman message and then we'll wrap. We have the upper world. Last message, spirit, for the collective, please. Water. Ooh, we got the mermaids here. Okay, lots of water, family. Let's see what's going to come out. Can I have just one? Thank you. We have the rattle. I have no idea what this means. Uh, and soul retrieval. Okay, that's what this, uh, through each other, you find the missing pieces. I feel with this card, the energy that I get from this card is this. I feel like when you guys came together, yes, it's the yin to your yang, right? It is the perfect piece to the puzzle that you guys fit together. It's like you feel at wholeness, at whole and one and complete in the presence of the other. Yes, that, that true. 
That that's true. But I also get that when you guys came together, you guys, you know, triggered each other, activated each other, and and with the the activation comes this uh, unraveling, right? Comes this being cracked open, and 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 on this journey, you have both been retrieving the fragmented pieces from the lessons that you've learned from each other with this connection as this connection is the cat that's what happened for me it was you know a uh, true love that was the catalyst to me going within and healing everything and retrieving fragments of my soul the pieces that was lost through trauma it's being returned back to me because I, I did see this through soul retrieval there's a soul retrieval that's take, it's this connection that's helping you to bring all the missing pieces that you felt was lost, that you felt piece of you, you felt something was missing. Coming back, it's coming back. Both of you guys are experiencing that. It's actually quite beautiful. It's actually a beautiful gift. I hear a lot of people say, Oh, I don't want a twin flame. Oh, hell no. I don't want, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want that kind. I don't want to, you know, because they know that this type of connection is, 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 is not, it's hard. It's not easy. It it's, it's a lot of work, you know, inner work. I, and a lot of people are just not ready or not prepared for this kind of connection. Right? So they resist it. They push it away. They tell the, the universe spirit, they don't want it. They don't want it because they're not ready to, they're not ready to retrieve the fragments of their soul. They're not ready to heal. They're not ready to ascend. They're not ready, you know, to, 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 they could potentially just not be ready for true love. We read that many times in the cards. I'm, I'm settling in a superficial relationship because I'm not ready for true love with you, you know? And, um, they, they're not awakened to, to the, to the blessing and the gift that it is this connection. I, I would do it all over again. I wouldn't trade what I went through. If I knew that back then that this was the outcome, that my life would be like this, right? <laughs> that that I would have ascended into my 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 you know uh, teacher energy here, spirituality ascended you know a, a spiritual awakening into my faith. That I would that I would have retrieved all the fragments of my soul. If I knew back then what I know now. And you asked me if I would do it all over again with this information I have today. Yes, I would do it all over again. I would, I, I, I would do, I would do it all over again to feel that love again, to love that way again. Cause that's what we're here for. We're here to love and be loved. To be in the vibration of love. Forty-three. The rattle. The essence. The rattle is the spirit caller, carrying a shaman's prayer to the four directions. The body of the rattle is like the earth spinning on its axis. With the aid of the rattle, the medicine woman instills a desired destiny in her future. Closing with 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 the prayer, great spirit. May your will be done. The rattle guides us to pray for all the earth, not just our personal needs. When we offer our prayers for the highest good of all, everything we need is provided for us. The invitation. The rattle comes to invite you to work with the tools of spirit, but be careful. They are very sharp. It can hurt you and others if they are not used mindfully. Set your old tools aside and take up the drawing instruments of spirit you are consciously stepping into partnership with the divine Ooh, this is the time for courageous deeds do not let your hesitation get in the way of your expression the medicine you want to catch god on the whisper not on the shout what you are trying to craft to your own desires and expectations is already there standing before you do not spin the world to your own benefit. You are being offered the creator's tool, which must be put to use to serve a divine purpose. Wow, this is huge, family. This is huge. 
Take your tools aside and take up the drawing the structures of spirit. You are consciously stepping into partnership with the divine. This is huge. This is a time for courageous deeds. So stepping into your purpose, stepping into mission and serving. Do not let your hesitation get in the way of, the, of your expression. You want to catch God on the whisper, not on the shout. What you are trying to craft to your own desires and expectation is already there, standing before you. Do not spin the world to your own benefit. You are being offered the creator's tools, which must be put to use to serve a divine purpose. Wow. So you're meant to use the creator's tool to, to uh, the creator's tool, the creator's tools, tool here to serve a divine purpose. So this is talking about you answering the call and stepping into mission family. And I feel like a lot of you guys are already doing that just by you being love, just by you being gentle. I'm saying, I'm also getting be gentle with this person when they do arrive. I'm getting that as well. Just by you being gentle, loving, caring, forgiving, compassionate, right? You're already serving a beautiful purpose. I love you all. I'm going to leave this right here. I will see you guys for the weekend message. And then uh, we'll we'll see what, what, what the weekend is looking like for us. I will see you guys soon. I love you all. Thank you for liking, for sharing, for subscribing, for donating to the channel, for donating deck, scheduling personal readings with me. God bless you, family. Until next time, namaste.